Cream DBS checking in. You know if I say it's official, it's official. Not rocking with my dog, man. Breakfast with dad. About to get it on. DBS, huh? What's going on, man? It's your boy Cole Red the Prophet. You watching Breakfast with Dab? I got Prem DiBiase right here next to me. You know what I'm saying? This little one. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Introduce yourself, man. Let me know what's going on. Prem DiBiase. You know what I mean? Hey. SP5 in the 65th. Bay the Zab. You already know it. Bet that. Get hot as fuck. <coughs> Welcome to breakfast. <laughs> So you was in Atlanta over the weekend, man. How'd that go? Yes, indeed. Oh, man, it's always love in Atlanta, man. I've been rocking with Atlanta for a long time. I get the same love in Atlanta I get here. You know what I mean? Whether it's the club or the streets, we barbecue over there on Gresham. All that'd be love. So you've been down there a lot over the last couple years? Then? Yeah, I've been down there a lot. Like, I got I got real deal, real deal dogs down there for sure. For sure. So is it more like family or like, you know what I'm saying, your, your peoples? Or is it, you know what I'm saying, a lot of shows? It's both. It's a lot of both. You know what I mean? Sure. I'll be back down there this weekend. Okay. So, it's a lot of both, you know what I mean? I do a lot of networking down there. L.A., St. Louis, everywhere. I be, you know, I move around. What, what spots you hit up down there? What, like in Atlanta? Yeah, like as far as like the club, like what's your favorite spot? Um, I say Onyx. Onyx? Yeah, yeah I love Bet Onyx. That. That. I get a lot, a lot of love in Onyx. And there's a few after hour spots I rock with, too. Okay. So, what's your favorite, like, city to kick it in? You know what I'm saying? My favorite city to down. kick it in, besides here. Right. Is uh is Atlanta. Okay. I love the night like it's black Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah she shit don't sleep neither, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That should be cool. Um so are you are you like independent or y'all got like what what is born leaders? Is born leaders like the management or is born leaders the label? No, we own born leaders. Um born leaders is it's the label, it's the company. Okay. You know what I mean? We recently did a deal with Rock Nation, but we still own everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's just that's just how it go. We the bossed up. So it's more so like distribution or something around there? Yeah. For sure that. For sure that. Um, do you feel like artists like need that major label push though? Like or their affiliation? Or you know what I'm saying? Um, you you it depends on what level you on. You don't but you you don't but you do, you know what I mean? Um some dudes ain't got the money to put behind themselves. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So yeah, if you if you able to able to get that without being raped, then you know, do that and and, and I wish you much success. But you know. So how, how do you like prepare for something like that? Like what like what do you think, you know what I'm saying, artists should have in line before he even consider Man. doing that? Well people don't realize this is more business than, than anything. Like people just stop where people just look at the fun. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's all that it's more business than, than, than anything. Like I get a headache from this a lot. Right. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. So I had to do that, you know what I mean? Deadlines and all that. Yeah, deadlines and man, you dealing with man, you dealing with people and dealing with egos Please try and, again. and stuff like that, so you know. Mm. You had a big single in um in 2014, 15 that busted down joint mm -hmm. uh featuring Pooh Gutter. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I graduated that year for 2014, you feel me? So it was really lit, you know what I'm saying? Like you had the city going, you know what I'm saying? Like how how did you use that, you know what I'm saying, momentum moving forward, you know what I'm saying, from that single? Uh, really just really just staying consistent, then when Rota got out of turn him up, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it just was we was hitting it from 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 all angles, man, just staying consistent, making hits and right. And, and being different and, and staying me, you know what I mean. They fell in love with me, right. you know what I mean, as a as a as a person. And that's just that is what I gave them. I ain't try to be nobody else or none of that. This is what it is. Yeah, everybody who I talk to about you, you know what I'm saying, say you a cool dude. You know what I'm saying, always mm -hmm. get a good rap. Yes, you know what I'm saying nobody never got. You know what I'm saying, anything yeah. bad to say. That's real. You know what I'm saying you ain't never went Hollywood on niggas. You know no, what I'm saying, never. stuff like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying, so it's stay. Yeah, for sure. No. Appreciate that. Um, Seems like you dedicate like a lot of time, you know what I'm not a lot of time, but a lot of your music to the strip club. You know what I'm saying? So how has that benefited? You, know you think so? I, I I feel like a lot of the singles, like the single singles, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Like that, even even dripping. I feel like mm -hmm. dripping was like yeah, I feel like it'd go in the club. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that you got dripping, you got busted down. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that pull up, you had that Birkin. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I know you did a lot of promo uh, for Birkin. Yeah. Um, so do you feel like that's like your angle or do you feel like it's a different type of angle? To tell you the truth, the, the, on only, the only songs I made for the strip club was uh, Birkin and Bust It Down. And, mm -hmm. 
The kids took busted down and ran with it. That wasn't even yeah. for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, wasn't even for them videos. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. That wasn't even for the kids. They took that, but them not the only uh and the one with me and Rudy the uh you know what I mean the uh the CBTA joint. But other than that, the other joints just end up in the strip club. Right. You know what I mean? Like a lot of that music is, is for the club and for the streets, but it just end up in the strip club. It's the culture. Yeah, you know what and I, mean? I feel like so you got that type way. of that certain type of sound, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, and they they might not be meant for that, but they're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Especially that BB fire like that um I do the most. Yeah. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do the most. It's like that's like I do the most ended up in the strip club. That was just me talking, you know what I mean? It's talking talking real one hundred. I'm I'm giving my life story on that and it turned you know, that's what it turned into. So what like messages you trying to you know what I'm saying? Providing your music, like what, like what do you want people to get from it? That that you can rise from the ghetto. You know what I mean? That you can make it through anything. The people that know me, seen and know what I did and and, and been through, mm -hmm. and see what's going on now, see me climb from the bottom. They know I deserve this. You know what I mean? Because I always I always hustle for it. I ain't did it no other way. I ain't man. I ain't get on and pages ain't like these overnight. dudes and ransom. DJ's not playing my music. You know. Like yeah. I don't do all that, man. I man, I stay consistent with my with my thing and grind. I was gonna get it through the streets. You know what I mean? The the, mm -hmm. the streets turned me up and that's what it was. Like, man, I ain't cry about it. Or nothing. I kept it going. So sure. anybody that come from, you know, that situation, I just want them to know, you know, it's hope. For real. But now back in um in February of this year you had a uh, you had met Mr. Hotspot, man. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. Saying? Like what was that like, man? He was a funny dude, man. I know. He a cool dude yeah, though. Yeah. He a cool dude, man. Sure. We met, we chopped it a little bit. We was in there, we was in uh in Lennox buying clothes and all that. Okay. He was by himself cooler. You know what I mean? We walked around a little bit, took some selfies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, I mean, cool cat though. Yeah, that nigga extra funny, man. Yeah, he cool dude. So when you meet people like that, you know what I'm saying? Is it you see them as like regular people, or you know what I'm saying? Do you ever get that feeling like, dang, I'm really around some stars? Or like, you know how, what? How that I thought about that. I thought about that earlier. Like people like that, no. But when I do a summer jam and be, and you know, I yeah, share the, I share the same same stage with you know niggas like uh, Yo Gotti and yeah, you know what I mean, and, all and, all and and you know what I mean stuff like that, like them. I already look at them like that, you know what I mean? Salute that grab, but it's the niggas who bigger I look up to, like mm -hmm. niggas like a Yo Gotti, a Ross, or something right. like that. So, you know what I mean? When I look like, damn, I'm sharing the stage with these niggas because these niggas I was listening to when I was younger, you know what I mean? So, yeah, especially I, Gotti, man. Gotti had yeah. it. Yeah. So I look at that. I look at that now when the same people that sing and they shit. 15, 20,000 strong is no no mind word for word not right you know what I mean yeah, so, yeah. And, and that's another thing like I did I was at summer jam you know what I'm yeah. saying I seen I seen you perform I had to go to the other side of the you know what I'm saying building when I seen you perform though mm. but um like describe that feeling man going from six people like you yeah. said on Instagram to 20,000 yeah. you know what I'm saying like what's that feeling like man when you walk on that stage and, and it's like damn man I'm doing it you know what I'm saying I did it man you know I like, tell, tell you the truth my whole my whole life been that way like mm -hmm. Just starting off with nothing as a as a young and I man I was raised in the project, sure. you know what I mean. We'd have had to stay in the home to shelter before. Uh, me and my mama and my sister, you know, cuddled up in the room with no heat in the winter time, and boom, I look now I got my own spot in. Right. You know what I mean? I got new cars and, and take stuff, care of your own family and take care of my own family. So it's the same thing with the music, like. You started. I started from nothing then. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. And I and I look at that now. It's a, it's a dream come true again. You know what I mean. You go bump you you bump your head, but you keep it moving. And I just look at all the struggles that I've been through as far as fighting cases and you know what I mean being broke a thousand times to to, to bouncing back every time with the music and you know with life. And man, it's a it's a blessing. And I man, I thank God for it every time. For sure, that's, that's what man. it is. And, and you and your brother Rudy, man, y'all been rocking for a long time, man, since man, forever, man. man. Rudy, Rudy used to be on the block when we was a young boy. That's my little brother for real. Yeah, man. So talk about that, man. Y'all come up, man. Like y'all come mm -hmm. up in the city. You know what I'm saying? How how was that? You know, what was that like? Was it like a struggle, major struggle? Did people gravitate instantly? No, like, it happened fast. It happened. It wasn't. It wasn't even really like a a real deal hard grind. Like man, when we did it, people came like that. Instantly, mm -hmm. man, it happened. Man, it happened about sixty days. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean, wow. like for real, people came. People came instantly, and it, I knew it was off the work that I've been putting in years prior. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, and it it paid off and, and helped little brother get to get to where he at. You know what I mean, and 
Now that uh, other rubber. guy in the pull up video, that's your brother that he do all the dancing, he be jigging that's, a lot. That's that's uh Ruta Big Brother. That's Ruta Big Brother. Yeah, that's okay. Ruta Big Brother. That's where that's where the moves really come from. They come yeah. from Jack. He, yeah, the he don't play around. I'm, yeah, I'm he the one. Video. Yeah, I'm like man, he, I'm like, what is this? Yeah, man? Like, Jack, Jack the one started all that yeah. for real. <laughs> Jack been doing that a okay, long man, time. Shout out Jack, man. Yeah, Jack them his moves, man. For my boy, sure. my boy Jack Boss, man. Um, yeah, that money loan is creeping up on on a million views right now. Yeah, it is. I ain't you even know, know that. Saying? Yeah, it said, it said, I think it said nine hundred seventeen thousand. Ooh, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. That's I'm crazy. Proud of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't and even then, know that. And then you got the single out right now, pull up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that's one of my favorite joints. Besides driving, like driving with like my, you know what I'm saying? That was yeah. my shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's real. Acting up. That's you know what I'm real. saying? So we're gonna get into that. We're gonna play pull up real quick. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Chop it up. Pull up on beam and shit, run up on frame of steam and shit. Run you a beam in it, big shot, serenity, no lean in it. New foreign on top, uh, pull her right up on the scene in it. New foreign on top, uh, pull up out front in the singing lit. Pull up on the thot, ooh, she hot right as soon as she seen the bitch. I break down the block, ooh, shit, but I watch the whole team get rich. I Gucci my flops, I Gucci my top, Ginobili my drop, boom. I roll in my watch, hey. I'm selling bows, toting big poles, I'm selling out shows. Ducking my hoes, rocks in my lows, troll with my woes. I'm sipping purple, mean, she throwing that ass in a circle. Uh, I go in no curfew, every time I step on the scene, it's a murder. Hey. What's backstage like at a prime show? You know what I'm saying? Or what was it like at Summer Jam? You know what I'm saying? Like, like what go down? You know what I'm saying? Man, real, real mellow. You know what I mean? Couple, couple, couple yeah. sips. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Just to get, yeah. just to get the shakes off. You know? What you prefer yeah, to drink? You know what I'm saying? Like you I like do some, uh, some Remy yeah. SOP or something, or some tequila. For sure. And I be straight. You know what I mean? We don't do no. You know what I mean? Niggas don't be getting drunk or no shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? We keep a clear mind. Gotta stay on point. Stop with, we keep a clear mind. You know what I mean? And definitely got to stay on point. I seen you on um, on Instagram with with Doughboy. Yeah, Doughboy. So my talk, dog. talk to me about that relationship. Yo, my little brother, man. He a, he a, uh he a authentic he a authentic and authentic dude, man. Real uh real genuine. You okay. know what I mean? And that's what I that's what I love about him, Pooh Gutter, all of them. They're my boys for real. You know what I mean? It's a real it's a real love there. Y'all got you know tracks together? Oh uh, yeah, we got we got one together. What's his name? Um, I'm go check that out. I got LV on the hook. I ain't even. Oh, yeah, I ain't even. Yeah, I ain't okay. even dropped it yet. So I forget the name of the song. Got your entire dollar sign on the hook. Yeah, man. yeah. I got LV on the hook. <laughs> and, uh, you know me and Pooh Gutter, we got a million tracks together. So. For sure. But no, they're my boys over there, man. And uh, is Philly Ferrari from the same area? Is he like an outside producer? You know what I'm saying? No, Philly Ferrari from up up the way. He from up uh Kinsman or something like that. Uh, and that's like your main producer, or or him he and, just did him, like him like, and Matt. Like, him and Matt like the flame is my main producer. Yeah, Matt like Matt like the flame. Matt like the flame. From top of the world studio. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Talking about the same person. For yeah. Sure. So so who who like caters to your sound more? You feel like? Um, it's it's even between them two because each like every song that come out, it was either made by one of them. For sure. Every time. And I was trying to search and trying to look, but the only name I seen come up was Phillies. You know what I'm saying? So I was like. Okay, I seen um, Cleveland Trump <laughs> did some work with him. Trump uh, shot my videos. Okay. Yeah, I ain't I ain't do no uh, music with Trump. Trump shot my videos in three feet over there on the west side. He uh, produced Bust It Down. Oh, bad. That's a bad. Yeah. And um, Holiday, man. Talk to me about Holiday, holiday. man. Cause who, I made, know who made Styles Holiday? Styles P. You and Styles P. Rory made Holiday. Yeah, me and Styles P. Yeah, nah, nah, Styles P. My dude, man. That's okay, like, yeah. That's like one of my favorite lyrics. Holiday, a real hey, Holiday Styles, a real dude, man. Yeah. We chatted, it, man. We was in the in the ghetto and okay. Yeah, you know I mean, I went to New York with I went to New York and chopped it with them cats, man. And it was love for real. They real, they real dudes. So I just like kicked it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they roll high, roll definitely. Because I was gonna ask you, like, you know what I'm saying? Did y'all do that session like in studio together? Or yeah, we was in the, the we was in the studio together out in Yonkers, New York. That's real. Yeah. That's real. Out in Yonkers, man. Shout out Yonkers. Yeah. Um. So this turban, man. Yeah. You got it on now. Yes, I'm indeed. Glad you do. Yes, indeed. Uh, so is that symbolic or something, or or is that just like part of nah, the sauce? I grew, I grew up in. I grew up in. I grew up in Islam, and I grew up in Christian. So you know what I mean. I take stuff from both religions and apply it to my life. Like I just believe whatever keeps you humble, you roll with it. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean. That's part of it, but it all is also my own sauce. So you know what I mean. I, I love doing my own thing and, right. you know, seeing other people doing it now, you know, I love it. That's just what it is. 
So when you going to do a show somewhere, a photo shoot or something like, like what's the deal breaker for for the fit? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what do you gotta have? You know what I'm saying? Man, I, I take being flashy. I mean, I was best dressed in high school every year, man. For I, sure. take, <laughs> I take being flashy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so you know, um, I don't know, cause you know, the thing that's going on now, these niggas, these niggas be still stealing their fists off the mannequin. Why is you oh, acting yeah. my chain like this? So these niggas be stealing the fists off the mannequin. And uh, hey, they think uh, just cause it's designer is flat, you know what I mean? Like, no, yeah. you gotta put no. We put this yeah. way. We put this thing together. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta drip a certain way, man. You gotta drip a certain way, sir. So, you know, ain't, ain't really, ain't really too many deal break. As long as it ain't no tight, funny shit. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, not a crazy. Yeah, shit I ain't with going the, on. I ain't with the little trans, transsexual yeah, look. I'm, you know I'm, what I mean? I'm, I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So if if you could collaborate with a designer brand though, like you know, like one of the bigger brands, who would it be? You know what I'm saying, I, um, like you can get like a Prime line or something. I like Javinci. Javinci, yeah, Javinci Prime, yeah. That that. So what, what stands out? You know what I'm saying about Javinci that you like, like specific? Um, really that it's simple. They don't try too hard. You know what I'm no, they don't try too hard. I just like that it's simple. Like so, yeah, I just like that it's simple. That's all. So, um, like you were saying about the tight clothes, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, it went from super baggy clothes, you know what I'm saying, to walking the store and, you know what I'm saying, let me get an extra medium, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, so, how was you able to make that transition, you know what I'm saying, without going too overboard, you know what I'm saying, like, finding that that medium? Man, I just, I just do what fit me, you know what I mean? Um, I got about that baggy stage quick when I was a young boy. <laughs> For sure. As soon as it, you know what I mean? Yeah, as soon as you caught wind of it changing, like, mm hmm. Yeah. Cause you know, we look, we used to look up to Wayne and them. You know, Wayne the one who got that got that started for real. Mm hmm So yeah, as soon as Wayne did it, we did it. Us trying to change over, it's over with. And you check that caught a five out? Yeah. You, what, you, what you think, man? You think he's slacking it he's slacking on the it's, sauce it's, or what, It's man? cool, it ain't better than Luca Brazzi three. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. He was actually five. talking. That's what I'm saying. You gotta start giving people substance. Like that's yeah. what I was hoping Wayne gave. Like I was like, man, I hope he got something to really talk about. Yeah. And he not just rhyming. You know what I'm saying? Like rapping. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, cause we already know he got them bars. Oh, he got saying? he got bars, but he but, wasn't he wasn't really talking about nothing. Yeah, he wasn't really talking about nothing. Mm -hmm. For sure. For he was sure. Rapping. Yeah, I feel like. Um. So what's the next big thing that you're looking to do? You know what I'm saying? Or or like that next goal that you want to accomplish? You know what I'm man, really. Really, my goal every year is to just get better and, and, and bigger. You know what I mean? I want to grind to the to the to the world know me, and I'm able to sell out arenas on my own. You know what I mean? Me and my little bro, mm -hmm. and that's my that's my main that's really my main focus. And you know, my little one straight in. I'm able to keep paying these bills. That's all that matter to me. You, know you gotta I mean? keep doing these arenas, man. These better mm -hmm. venues, like you know, what I'm saying a lot of niggas getting shot. You know, what I'm saying be too yeah. much going on. Like I was in the yeah. union for Rip birthday, mm -hmm. and I was we was in there chest to chest. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like this ain't this ain't cool. And then I'm like I'm like dude, people people be doing too much to be in those environments. You know what I'm yeah. saying we need to protect. You know what I'm saying everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. That's why it's, it's really a, it's really a certain way I roll. Like I know the, you know what I mean. I I know I gotta protect myself and others just from from the situation. I know how protective my niggas is about me. And mm -hmm. I'm the same way about them. So a lot of times I don't even put myself in that situation just to, to avoid the bullshit. You know what I mean? I done had to be in shootouts and all that shit before. So I'm, I don't, I, I want to avoid all that as much as possible. So therefore I stay away from them type of crowds. If I ain't getting paid to be out, it's most likely I ain't out. You know what I mean? So how do that work when you is. like got like real like niggas like real street niggas that got real life situations going on and can't just be everywhere or mm -hmm. got beef here and there? You know what I'm saying? Like, like do you still roll with them or you know what I'm saying? Or is there certain times when you be like, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? We gonna have to just no, they take they this they already know how I roll. So you know what I mean? They, they respect it. Like you know what I mean? We we still we still ride together, man. They play the cut. Mm -hmm. And it is what it is. We just roll, man. Like we don't we, we don't do no hiding. Show that. So I got a, I got a, a weird question for you, man. What's up? Not even weird for real. Mm. If you had like one superpower, man, what would it be, man? I'd be invisible. Invisible? Yeah. What, what's that reason, man? Um, you get to see a lot of shit before. You know, you get to see a lot of shit. You get to see the real mm -hmm. people. You know, um, the way how people look at you when you around and ain't around. Yeah, what, you, you know, know catch that, that hater face. Oh, all that. Yeah. You get to see all that. For sure. Um, 
My Browns, man, lost, man. They played us. They, they, yeah, we lost they and played they us. played us. You know what I'm saying? Because that damn the that, fumble, that fumble and the first down. Yeah, that fumble is what killed me, man. Yeah, that killed like, me. I they, understand they, that. And then the, who let that stand? It should be somebody to come, come in and be like, hell no. Nah. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then, then the first down, ride. I'm looking at the stick on the ball. I was like, man, right. that, I ain't understand that either. Mm -hmm. so. Man. So how many games you give us then, man? Cause this, we didn't, we already kind of slipping, slipping under a little bit. We damn near posted one, all of them for all real. of them. Hell yeah, all those supposed to be done. But um, I, I man, I truly think that they good. I do too, man. I think that they good. They that game got took from them Sunday. It did. Mm -hmm. That game was won. That should give them, give them some heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come in next game. You know what I'm saying? Try to take that. You know what I'm saying? That's what mm -hmm. we need. Um, your boy Brian Cone. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We got we got rookie Colin Sexton. Oh, it's all bad this season. All bad? It's all bad. No playoffs? Man, all bad. Hey, yeah, every, time, every time Brown Lee, though, we... Yeah. I give him about 28 earth. games. Love, love going to be her half the season. You know how he do. Yeah. Um, I give him about 28. Man, we we'll get about 28, 29 games. Mm. For real. So, so Brown in, in L.A. for the next five years, man. How yeah. many championships you give him? Uh, to Golden State break up. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. Yeah, hey. I think Durant might be the first. No, Clay might be the first to go, man. Clay, Clay gonna be the first. I think. They, I think Durant. They ain't giving Clay no, no press for real. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like he kind of like was the splash brother at first, and now he like yeah. in the back. Yeah, yeah. Now it's all now. about cousins and Kevin Durant. Crazy, yeah, nah. Y'all think he gonna? They try gotta to break up, up one there. day, but until 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 they break up, especially with Boogie over there now, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, that's hell. It's gonna be a problem. So you, you play 2K? Yeah, man, I just whooped some ass today, man. I just, I just who, you, who you run with? I just beat a nigga by twenty. Oh uh, my god! Yeah, you know what I mean? It's going out like that. Yeah, I uh, I do Boston. Boston? Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I do Boston. I don't play against niggas who pick Golden State. Oh yeah, I'll take over. Cause you don't even gotta be good. I play LA, man. Though LA. Yeah, see, I can play against different. When niggas pick Golden State, you don't even gotta be good. You know what I mean? Yeah, you pick Golden State, like. Everybody shoots. Everybody shooting the ball. That's all you gotta do is shoot the ball. And you ain't even gotta know how to play. Cousins getting all the rebounds. Cousins you know getting man? all the rebounds. Yeah, that's crazy. You ain't even gotta be good when niggas when niggas pick them. I put the stick down. Sure. So what about real life balling, man? Like 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 a two K made. You know what I'm saying? Two K twenty. You know I'm saying you was on two K twenty. What would your rating be, man? Based off real life man. skill. See, they they got they pass me the ball and I shoot. I don't do no <laughs> dribbling. <laughs> I don't do no dribbling. I don't do none of that. Just pass me the ball up and shoot. I'm, I'm, a, I'm no so, net. But as long as I ain't got to drive and none of that. Oh man, you gonna get your <laughs> buddy. I'm like Ray Allen. You ain't putting the ball man, on the ground, man. I'm, I'm, Ray, ground, man, I'm Ray Allen, moves. man. I catch and shoot net for sure every time. If you if you created your own video game, what would it be about, man? Like, would you have like a? What would that video game be, man? Man, I don't, that's a crazy question, bro. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know man. Wouldn't that be raw, though? You could just make your own shit, man. Yeah, yeah I, used to, I, used to, I used to want to when I was little, but I'm into sports, though. You're into sports, huh? Yeah, sure. I like sports, so, you know, it would definitely be something like that. For sure. Mm. All right, man, we're about to step into this trivia with Dab. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We're going NBA. You know what I'm saying? I went in NFL yesterday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we're about to take it to the NBA, man, real quick. I got one, two, three. Four questions for you, man. We're going to see yeah. how you do. Let's get it. All right. First question, man. Who scored the most points in a single career in NBA history? Was it Wilt Chamberlain? You say in his career? Yeah, in a single oh, career. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell, Sheldon Lewis, or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Um, is it Kareem? It's Kareem. Yeah, it's Kareem. Kareem most definitely got the most points. Yeah. All right. Um, who was the first player to score back-to-back 50-point -back games in the Ooh. 2000s? Uh huh. We got, we got LeBron. Yeah. Kobe. Uh, Antoine Jameson, or Kevin Garnett. That's Kobe. You ain't gonna believe this. Oh. It's Antoine Jameson. Antoine Jameson did. Antoine Jameson scored two 50-point games back-to-back. -back, first person. In the, in the 2000s, he came to us and was a bum. It was a straight bum shoot. I remember he was he was a dog in Washington. He was a dog in Washington. He still fan. But that was when he was younger though. He I did. can't believe that. Yeah, That's why James did. That's why James did. He was a bum. That's crazy. He was nice in Washington. Yeah, he definitely. Well, he had a little shot. Yeah. You know so, uh, question number three, man. Mm -hmm. What what two teams selected players before Michael Jordan? Was it Houston and Portland? Cleveland and Chicago, mm. or Seattle and Atlanta. 
Ooh. Passed up on MJ. Ooh. Ah, he he ended up in uh Chicago drafted him, didn't they? They ain't trade for him. I can't get no answer. Until <laughs> no, because I'm thinking about Kobe. I know yeah, I know yeah. Kobe. I mean Charlotte drafted Kobe. Kobe went to yeah New Orleans here. Yeah. Nah, yeah, man. Okay, ask, uh, name them teams again. Houston and Portland. Mm hmm Cleveland and Chicago. Seattle and Atlanta. Seattle and Atlanta. No, Houston and Portland. I was going to say that first. Houston and Portland passed up on MJ, man, early. Who they get? Who? Houston. Houston? Yeah. I don't know, man. I know they wasn't. Was it Hakeem? Or Hakeem came out after? I thought Hakeem was there before. No. He wasn't? No, no, no. I don't think so. Well, you, you would know better anyway, uh, man. I'm 22, uh, man. I still got, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, yeah, that's real. Yeah, I caught it late. Yeah. But um, fourth question, man, last question, man. See what we're going to do here, man. Mm -hmm. Who was the first ever NBA lottery pick? First lottery pick, man. Was it Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Scottie Pippen, or Patrick Ewing? Larry Bird. It was my boy Pat, man. Damn, I got all Pat them. Pat <laughs> man. Yeah, you got one, which was one out of four, man. Hell yeah. Hey, you doing some good questions that you would never think about. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I definitely appreciate you coming through, man. That's the interview right there. No, that's love, for sure.